All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to another Wicked Wednesdays. I'm your host, Sid Survival Guy. I've never been a host of anything. <laughs> Today, we're going to be trying two different things. One of them we've tried the brand before. Another one I have never, I don't think. Wait, Sierra Nevada. I may have. I could be lying to you, and I don't want to do that. But I've never tried Big Little Thing IPA, Imperial IPA. I'm not sure what the difference between IPA that is Imperial and Session is, so I might go up and look up the stuff and put it on the screen. But today we're going to try an extremely high alcohol content IPA. This is 9% alcohol. Me personally, that's the highest I've ever seen in a beer. I've never seen a beer with a, an alcohol content higher than 9%. Uh, the last IPA that I drank, 7.5%, I think that at the time that was the strongest. But, uh, like I've said before though, if anybody has any suggestions on what I should try, make sure to drop it in the comments below. What we're going to do is we're going to sauce these wings up. Today we got Melinda's Ghost Pepper Wing Sauce, creamy style. This is a 5 out of 5. This is about the hottest I could find based on ingredients. This has cayenne pepper, excuse me, cayenne pepper mash. Boot Jalokia pepper mash, which is ghost pepper mash, and habanero pepper mash. So I have air fried up some boneless, skinless chicken, and we're gonna give it a shot. It's supposed to be hot. Oh, it smells it. It smells like, oh, it looks like buffalo sauce. It looks like perfect buffalo sauce. I'm not sure how much to put on here, but I kind of want to treat it like everything else that I eat and smother it. Oh. Yeah. All right, we're going to let that sit and let this chicken, it's still hot, so we're going to let it sit in this creamy style. And we're going to pour out some of this big little thing IPA. Good job, babe. <laughs> I wish I had that. Family owned, family owned, operated, and argued over. I like that. <laughs> that's because you know that's true. It is true. Not, Nevada Brewing Company, Chicago, California, and Mills River, North Carolina. Oh, Chico, California. And Mills River, North Carolina. The can, this can, is a ball can. Like ball jars. Oh, that's cool. How cool is that? Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, that's supporting a very old company. We already support ball jars. We, so. Yeah, look. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a ball jar. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah, they're, oh, they're oh, jelly oh. jars. How yeah. cool is that? I bought a bunch of these for making candles. Started making candles. If anybody's interested in that, let me know in the comments below. But I'm expecting it to be super dark, and it's not. It's not dark, but it has like a pink tint. Oh, that's a pretty beer. Maybe beer, maybe beer is just pretty to me. All right, we'll let that settle for a second. So I'm gonna do beer and then wings and then beer with wings because I don't wanna ruin I don't want to ruin the taste of the beer right off the rip, just in case. I did get a little piece of my finger right there, though, and this is hot. This is some hot sauce. Yeah. Here we go. First ever drink of Big Little Thing. Big Little Thing. I'm assuming it's because it's 9% alcohol. Yeah, that's what That is not bad. That is, there's no way. Okay. This is ale. Imperial IPA. This is an ale. It says ale on the side. Alcohol 9% by volume. This is actually really good. In, yeah. When it, yeah, when it comes to standards of IPAs, nowhere near a stout. Yeah. No, it's still poppy. This is still an IPA. Actually, I'm surprised it's not a fucking mead ale. But super light. I was expecting it to be heavy. It's very good. 
All right, guys, we're gonna try. Look, go big or go home. I'm gonna try a little bit of it. Right here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's hot. Yeah. I'm gonna watch how it. Yeah. Turn me off like a little small piece. It's hot. It's not too hot though. It's good. You want some heat. Comfortable heat. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. Tongue's feeling a little fat. Oh, yeah, that's good. Tongue's feeling a little fat, but it ain't. I feel a little bit in the back of my throat. Yeah. <coughs> you know where it gives you that <coughs> cough? Yeah. Tastes good. Let's try it with the beer. Oh, superb. <laughs> uh, the beer, it seemed like right there at the end, the beer kind of enhanced the heat at the back of my throat. It says a delicious blend of ghost cayenne and habanero peppers. Heat level five out of five. Those who crave fiery wings and things. Uses. Great on fried or baked chicken wings, boneless chicken, shrimp salads, wraps, sandwiches, and pizza. Mm. Definitely good. Oh yeah, I like like a chicken wrap and just drizzle it like a sauce in there. Give it that little bit of spice. Oh yeah. But I said the same thing about that other Melinda's. Yeah. I said Very just usable. as a sauce to put on like a chicken sandwich would be great. That was a hot bite. It's good. All right. I like that. For sure. I would assume that you can only drink a couple of these beers unless you're a grown ass alcoholic. I'm just a baby ass alcoholic. I just drink from time to time. But I was a very big commercial beer drinker, I guess is if you would call it that. Mainstream. And uh huh? mainstream. mainstream. I was more of a mainstream beer drinker because of cheapness. And uh coming out of high school and coming into drinking age, whatever you could get the most of for the cheapest prices. Because at the time when I was younger, I was looking to get drunk. And that's not so much the case anymore. <clears throat> Some people might describe it as a crutch. I don't really care because it's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody's got to handle their own. You know, people overdose on water. So, can't be too careful. <laughs> Anything can be bad for you. Mm hmm. I really recommend. Now, <clears throat> this is just some frozen chicken from Walmart. So the potential of this going on some fresh chicken, like I made a sandwich out of Melinda's wing sauce. I made a sandwich out of it. If you want to check that video out, it'll be right here. But it turned into a very good chicken sandwich. And I feel like this would be the same thing. I'm going to have to try this out over the fire because I bet that this would just give... Anything that has already got that smoked taste, just take some meat. There's no salt and pepper or anything on this meat. Just normal meat, air fried in a brand newly cleaned air fryer, and just this hot sauce. And this is, I mean, this is really good. Mmm. She's got some spots to it. <clears throat> Made my nose run. On that one. It's good. You guys should definitely give both of these a try. And if you're enjoying these videos, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. The more people that see this, the more people that can give me their opinion on maybe what I'm doing right or doing wrong or what I could just do and do better in general. Again, this is Wicked Wednesdays, and I'm Sid Survival Guide, your host, Chuck and Deuces. <laughs>